everybody, it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel, or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes, and today in this video I'm going to tell you guys an embarrassing, another embarrassing substitute teacher story. So this is an embarrassing story that happened to me when I was in P.E., in the eighth grade. So this is a story about how I had a substitute teacher for my PE class, but my PE class pretty much did not act properly with my substitute teacher, which was very embarrassing. And, and what's even worse was my teacher was at a funeral for her father that same exact week that she was gone. Her a couple weeks and it was like very embarrassing not only for us but for the teacher as well so this is a story just to let you guys know it's never okay to misbehave um, when you're you've got a substitute teacher it's always good to be respectful of the substitute teacher never misbehave and if you didn't see any of my other embarrassing substitute teacher stories I'll link those all in the description box down below so I'm going to get started. So this all started when I was in the eighth grade. I was in my third period class, which was PE. Um, my, as we were in the PE class, we were all dressed up in our PE clothes. Clothes, and we sit down in our class, and then we have, we see this person come up, and it's a substitute. It's an elderly substitute, but he's very nice. And he, we ha always had this um, substitute for our I, wait, was, I think it was, uh, yeah, anyway, um, we always had the substitute, his, he was a PE substitute, I'm not sure, right, too, sometimes I'd switch off the substitute, but it, I don't know how substitute teachers work for junior high or high school, I guess they pick just random substitute teachers or something, I don't know, and we had this really nice substitute, um, he looked like he was in his l l early 60s, um, he was very nice. And he was taking over for my PE teacher while she was away at her father's funeral. Well, and um, he was going to be um, helping out for the next couple, for the next week or two. And while she, my PE teacher was away for her father's funeral. And um, we did pretty good, the good like the first two weeks or so. And then the final week, which is the week before my teacher was coming back, my whole class um, was misbehaving for the substitute. Like nobody was listening to the substitute. Um, nobody was like respecting him. Some people were like even back talking him. Some people were even fighting in class. And it was just really embarrassing just to have a substitute teacher and see um, my whole entire PE class. Well, not technically everybody, just me and my friends were perfectly fine, but the rest of the people in my class were just misbehaving for the substitute teacher. And it was super embarrassing, even for um, my substitute teacher and the TA who was in that class as well. Well, and we had a TA help out with um, people who had special needs in the class because there were a lot of we did have like a group of people who had special needs in the class who 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 um needed help with a lot of PE things so things in the PE class. Despite the fact it was a general ed PE class, um, we had a special needs teacher for me and a lot of the other students who had special needs. So um, he was like, and nobody was just listening to the substitute. Nobody was listening to his rules. Nobody was listening to him. Um, everybody just completely ignored him, just did whatever they wanted to do, and they were just like being loud and being rude and just super annoying, back talking, and it was super disrespectful. So on the, excuse me, sorry, my friend texted me and I had to text her back. So anyway, um, nobody was listening to the PE teacher. They were just being rude, disrespectful, and just ignoring him and just doing whatever they want. Want. And then there were some people also fighting and it was just really, really irritating and very uncomfortable. So the day before my teacher comes back, the PE teacher sits everybody down 
down in the gym and talks to them and has a chat with them about how the teacher is coming back from a burial for her father and how our behavior was just unacceptable and rude. And the TA was very insulted by the rest of the class's behavior for the substitute teacher. It was just very embarrassing for her as well. And once the PE teacher explained to everybody what was like happening and why everybody was misbehaving and why he felt disrespected, um, everybody understood and just kept their mouths, mouths quiet for like the rest of the class class and he literally was just doing everything he can to be helpful to my teacher who was away at a funeral for her father and everybody else was just making it hard for him by not listening to him, being rude to him and disrespectful and it was just really not okay. I mean, I mean he was just trying to help the teacher out and everyone else in my class decided to just be rude and just do whatever they wanted to do and just ignore the substitute. It was so embarrassing. They were saying, and then once everybody understood, they just kept quiet. And then the day my teacher came back, she surprisingly didn't really say anything. She didn't really discuss with us how our behavior was unacceptable, but she did look kind of irritated when we got back, when she got back from her father's funeral. And I felt really bad for the PE teacher just because she had to go through a lot, a lot. And then everyone else in the class was just not listening to the substitute. And despite the fact he was trying to help her, help her while she was away at her father's funeral. So she didn't really give anybody punishment. She didn't really have a talk with, with the class. She just looked very irritated and then didn't really um, give anybody warnings or anything or detentions for their behavior. She just told them, told them like what we, she just told the whole class that um, we are to be respectful of the substitute, even though it's not your real teacher. It's not appropriate to be rude to the substitute. Too. So the next time we did have that substitute, he, we were a lot nicer to him. And I was very glad that my class um, took the time to listen to that substitute. And I'm glad everybody learned a valuable lesson about how to listen to a substitute teacher, even despite the fact he's not your real teacher. Teacher. So the moral of the story is always respect your substitute teachers and your regular teachers as well. It's very respectful to your subs to your regular teachers if you're respectful of the substitute. If you disrespect the substitute, then you're going to be disrespectful of your regular teacher. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Um, so always just be nice to the substitutes because they're there to help your teachers out. They're not there to like fight with you or get um, have trouble with you. They're just trying to help your teacher out while she is out away uh, somewhere. Somewhere or wherever she, whatever she's doing. So you should always be respectful of the substitute teacher because the substitute teacher is being helpful to your teacher, teacher, and it's just always nice to respect them. So that was my embarrassing PE substitute teacher story. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!